All right, one of the questions I get asked a lot um, when I'm teaching class and talking about diesel particulate filters is how does the uh, filter know when to go from passive to active regen? How does it know when to request a park or stationary regen? And when I tell them that you're supposed to let the regen run until it stops on its own, they'll usually ask me, how does it know when to stop on its own? And the answer to all of those questions is this guy right here. This is a delta P sensor. So it's a pressure differential sensor. And you gotta remember that as a filter collects uh, the soot inside here, it starts to become restricted and restrictions are what create pressure. So you got the tube sensing the pressure at the inlet side, you got the tube uh, sensing the pressure at the outlet side. Both those pressures go in here and that pressure differential is sent to the computer. So as this filter gets dirtier, pressure is going to rise on this side and it's actually going to go down a little bit on this side. And that pressure differential between the two sides is going to get larger the dirtier this filter gets. So that's how it knows when to go from passive to active. And it's also how when that differential gets to a certain point, how it knows to ask for a um, a park or a stationary region and when you start that park or stationary region you know uh, people who have done the regions before know the idle is going to go way up you're going to start injecting fuel into the exhaust stream temperatures are going to go through the roof uh, and you just let it go let it go to town until it the idle comes down and it stops the region on its own because during that entire regeneration process this guy is reading these two pressures and when that pressure differential from that soot being burned off comes back down that's when it knows hey it's time to stop this regen process we've gotten as far as we can go um, and it's also one of the reasons why though you might have constant requests for a regen is because uh, there is an ash counter in some of these computers, but for the most part, this sensor really doesn't know the difference between ash and soot. It just knows there's a restriction. So when you have too much ash buildup, that's when it's time to take this guy off and get it clean because it's going to be constantly asking for a regen or it won't finish a regen or regens for a really long time. That's usually because the soot content isn't necessarily high, but the ash content is. If you have any questions about uh, diesel particulate filters and regions and delta P's, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll do the best I can to answer them for you. Again, thanks for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe. Uh, share the videos with people that want to learn more about diesels and talk to you in the next video.